again and guess what another gear review video so I thought in this video we would talk about the Vittoria Mescal tires I can really not say enough good things about these tires and again for full disclosure not in not um, sponsored by Vittoria didn't receive uh, any money to do an endorsement from Vittoria or anything like that this is just my unsolicited comments and thoughts about these tires so I had been a long time Bontrager tire user XR or SEs um, as I have been for pretty much all my stuff whether it be Trek or Bontrager for many of that don't know it's the same company so anyways I switched from the Bontrager XR2s to the Vittoria Mescals um, just because I couldn't get the Bontragers at the time um, someone I know recommended these tires to me and I'm really glad they did so I am running the 29 by 2.6 Vittoria Mescals they are the graphene version. I've seen graphene, the word graphene everywhere nowadays for some reason. Maybe it's because I notice it more because of these tires. But I know that the Toyota tires are made in Thailand. Um, I know that they use graphene to make roads now, um, in integrated into the road surfaces somehow as well. So a pretty good uh, product from what I can see. Um, again, I can't say more good things about these tires. For an all around tire, they are awesome. They're pretty much designated as more like an XC trail tire, but I'm obviously using them for an all-arounder. Um, riding a lot of pavement, obviously. Last year, I rode almost 7,000 kilometers on them. I just put new tires on recently, in fact. I had been riding the ones that I rode from uh, last year, from all the way from Godrich all the way to Newfoundland, so St. John's, in fact. Yeah, it took two punctures in Newfoundland in the rear wheel. One was a decking screw, went straight in, and the other was a straight up nail. I think both were two and a half inches long and went right through it and hit the rim. Didn't puncture my uh, rim strip, thank God. I am running tubeless also. I should actually have said that right off the bat. If you are touring and running tires like this, really high quality tires that are able to be run tubeless and you're not, you're missing out, guys. 100% uh, it is the best way to go. You still have to carry a tube to be safe, but you are eliminating punch flats. You're giving yourself way more of a chance for that puncture to seal on its own. Going back to the uh, two punctures I took, they were pretty severe punctures. I was able to pull them out. The tire actually sealed itself, and I went for another day, took the next puncture, and then to be safe, I put um, plugs in both of them, what would be known to cyclists as baking strips. Uh, bacon strips sorry not baking strips bacon strips and um, really can't say enough things about it uh, I should have probably contacted Victoria to tell them this whole story but to be honest with you it's really amazing I really thought I was done I was what two or three days outside of St. John's when all this happened and uh, the tire came through with flying colors like I said I just took them off the other day I'd been riding them back since I got back this whole time as well and they, yeah, they needed to be changed. The sidewalls were getting a little crusty. The treads were definitely worn 100% on the back. The front was not too good, but they had almost 7,000 kilometers and a lot of that on pavement and they aren't technically made for pavement, right? So that's pretty good testament to their durability, I would say. At, uh, I believe they retail for 85 Canadian. 
anybody that's into cycling a lot knows that's actually a pretty reasonable price for a high quality tire. So again, um, not an expert, um, not being paid to say this, so do I recommend this tire? Yes, I do. It's definitely worth checking out. Very durable, price is good, look good if that's something that's important to you. I think they look good anyways, but more importantly for me is the directional tread pattern on them. Uh, as you'll see, that directional tread pattern for me is what makes them such a comfortable tire and such a smooth rolling tire as well. Um, yeah, you do get a little hum because they are a mountain bike tire per se, but honestly, I do recommend these. I've had a lot of people say that they don't think that this bike is a good all-around bike, but um, I'm going to have to say they're wrong. I rode it across Canada, set up like this. These are new Victoria Mescals, but I was still using Mescals. And I have to be honest with you, I think it's an all-arounder for me. That might not be for other people, but having said that, like I said, this is definitely, for me, a really good all-around setup. The comfort is what really makes it for me. Yeah, you could run with smaller touring style tires and go faster and all that stuff and it'd be lighter and all that. But for all day comfort, I have it set up here, I think. So if you have any questions about my setup, aside from the tires, why it works for me, why I recommend it, um, let me know. I'd be glad to let uh, talk to you and give you my thoughts on that. Conversely, if you have a different setup, um, let me know what you guys are running. Um, it's good for other people to hear other people's thoughts, their setups and stuff like that. As always though, be respectful guys. Not everybody's a pro. Some people coming into these videos are beginners looking for advice. So it's really deterrent to people that are just starting out when people attack them for not knowing what's going on, right? That's why they're here. So let's all help each other out. If you have any thoughts, comments, advice, anything if you just want to say hi throw me a comment in the in the comment sections below if you watch the video to this point guys um, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button like button again comment it uh, helps the videos get noticed by YouTube so if you'd like to help support the channel um, you can check out my patreon page it's definitely the best way to help me out I'm not rich I'm trying to figure out ways to keep this all going as I've said in all my other videos so there's a link for my Patreon in the descriptions below. If you'd like to check that out, it would really help. Three different tiers, uh, monthly payments of $1, $3, or $5. If you're not into that, then I totally understand just watching my videos and hitting the like button and all that other stuff helps me out as well. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, be on the road. Probably as you're watching these, I should be out touring. Uh, my first night will be stopping at Wheelie Provincial Park. So uh, the next video you should see after this one will be me on the road and I should be on the road for a couple if not three months. So anyways guys get out there and do something you love and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.